Hey everyone, welcome to Craig Duswalt's Rock Your Life TV series where we interview amazing business leaders and innovative entrepreneurs. I'm your guest host, Dean Kane, and today we are sitting here with our very special guest, Dr. J. Shetland, who created the Shetland Pony. No, he didn't. Uh, Dr. J. Shetland is a chiropractic physician. Um, the thing I'm interested in talking about first, if you don't mind, sure. is aging gracefully to 100 years and beyond. Not because I'm pushing 100 years old, but, but I'm getting there, but I want to. Um, and when I was a younger guy, you know, I played football, I played professional football, I, I've got all kinds of body smacks and things and turns, but I've been seeing chiropractic, you know, chiropractors my entire life. Um, and now my concern has gone from you know, being, being able to play football games to living to 100 and beyond, mm -hmm. living gracefully. What is it that you, that you do um, in that specialty? That's where I think chiropractic, the, the family practice, the general practice stuff comes in really handy because people don't realize when we have a trauma, a football injury, a car accident, a fall out of a tree, whatever, that the degenerative process, arthritis, starts from that point forward if we don't rehab those tissues properly. Ah, so it starts just, with the tissues. Too. Yeah, so you just got to get in there early. Don't wait till it's crisis management. Like, us guys are like, yeah, we'll fix it when it's a real problem. I, I you know. know. We got to kind of get in touch with the feminine side because our, you know, our wives and stuff are like, you know, why don't you go get that taken care of now rather than wait until it's a crisis? And that's really good advice is to just get in there, be proactive rather than reactive and wait until it's in, you're in trouble. I am totally screwed then because I, <laughs> because I do have some football pr things that have, li you know, I got a chronic thing in my neck and things that I've done. I tried to do things then, but, you know, rehab when I was a kid, you wouldn't think of it in terms now. Now, as a parent, if something happens to my son, I make sure he goes in every single day for every little thing to get it taken care of. And I guess we don't tend to treat ourselves the same way we would treat our children. That's it's true. But I think I think our generation is a little more cautious that way now. Before it was like, yeah, rub some dirt on it, you'll be all right. Now we're like, no, let's take care of that now and maybe help you age a little more gracefully. And I think that's what we as, uh, in our generation needs to look at. And here's what you don't realize, viewers, Dr. J is 107 years <laughs> old. Right. And look at that. 